we're making a free-form tart today and what better person to show us than our home economist, Naomi. Hello. Free-form <laughs> tart means it's easy, correct? It is. This is so easy because we're all just going to do it in one appliance. Perfect, perfect. Yes. So I guess free-form tart, we've got to start with the base, which is pastry. Yep, we're doing a sweet shortcrust pastry. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll get, we can get that going, mm -hmm. we can get it into the fridge. Should we, should we start that straight away? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, we're just going to use... One and a quarter cups of plain flour. Plain flour, okay. Okay, not that's sifted. A no, doesn't no. need to. Yep. I try not to sift whenever possible. <laughs> <laughs> that's one extra step we don't need. <laughs> um, I'm going to need one egg yolk. Do you yes. mind taking that out? Sure. Okay. So a third of a cup of icing sugar. Mm -hmm. Then we've got a quarter of a cup of almond meal. So it's so easy, just throwing everything in. Mm -hmm. Now I've got 125 grams of butter and it's got to be nice and cold when you're making a pastry. Pop the lid on. So I'll just process this up first and, um, and then we'll use that in a second. Right, okay. So what I'm doing is I'm just checking to make sure that we get the, the butter down to nice little, almost like breadcrumb mm -hmm. look. Okay, perfect. All right, so while this is running, do you mind popping the egg yolk in sure. and then say about one to two teaspoons of cold water? So what I want to do is I just want to process this down and when I start to see that it comes together, mm -hmm. that's all we need to do. Okay, actually, might just be, don't need any more water though. There we go. Okay, so you can see how that's formed a nice clump. Looks it's good. perfect, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll just remove the blade. No one these days makes dough, you know, the old fashioned way by crumbling no. first and adding water. You don't need when, to, do you? When you can get machines that do it all for you, it's so much easier. <laughs> and it just takes the, you know, the tricky part out of it. All right, so what we'll do is, um, do you have any plastic wrap? Yes, I do. So what we'll do is we're just going to roll this into a little disc. If you do it into a disc at the beginning, then when you go to roll it out, it's already, half the shape's already started. And it chills much faster too, doesn't it? Does. It does. So we just pop that into the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes. It doesn't take very long. Sure. Okay. So now we'll make the crumble. We've got uh, some soft brown sugar. So a quarter of a cup, pop that in. And that's the beautiful thing about this. Because you are a home economist, you always think about things to make the cooking process much faster. So Absolutely. no washing up, in it goes. No, it's I want to be going. able to do minimal amount and make it look fabulous. Isn't exactly. It? Okay, so we've got our blanched almonds mm -hmm. and uh, we've got some cinnamon. Oh, yep. Cinnamon, yep. So half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And that goes. And then it's just some rolled oats. So we've got a third mm. of a cup. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. And we can pop the butter in too now. Okay. So that's, and that's really cold too. It is cold. Okay. And that's 50 grams of butter. So it's really important that the butter for this recipe is nice and cold. Cool. Okay. So we're popping the lid back on. Mm -hmm. Now with this one, we're just going to pulse it because we still want to get it that have that beautiful texture mm -hmm. to it. So. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Lovely. I'll take that out and if you can just pop that into one of the bowls. Sure, and you can see it's perfect. All really lovely and textured. All right. So you really want to see that kind of come through onto the top of the tart. And we'll put some of that on the bottom too. Now, we've got the rhubarb and the apple next. Mm -hmm. So, do you mind peeling the apples? So we're going to core them and cut them in half. Okay. And um, also peel them too. And while you're doing that, I'll slice the rhubarb. So I'm just going to use the variable slicer. Now. I'm using apple and rhubarb today, mm -hmm. but uh, depending on what you've got, if you've got some berries, you can even do frozen berries, which yeah. is really good uh, if you can't get any nice berries in season. Uh, use some berries or, um, you know, a summer tart. You could use fresh stone fruit. It would be perfect. That's too. right. Plums. I've done a plum Yum. one before. Beautiful. That would be good. Okay, so we're just going in all at once. Now, we've got these a little bit higher, so what I'm going to do is just get started and then push it. It's so quick, isn't it? And everything's the same size, which is, it is. It's nice. When you're making a tart like this, nothing's worse than having a little bit of apple that's not cooked or that's a little bit bigger than the other piece. Right, you want nice it to cook even evenly. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is 
The rhubarb just gets sprinkled with some sugar and mm -hmm. what that helps to do is just to keep um, all the juices in the rhubarb so you don't get the um, all of the bleeding of the colour. Ah, is that so, what it does? Yeah. That's a good little, nice tip. little tip. So we'll just give that a little stir. Okay, so popping this back on again. So I'm just keeping the same thickness, depending on how you like your apples. If you if you want the apples are really thin, so they really, really cook softly, adjust the slicer mm -hmm. to a thinner slice. But I like them to also be a nice textured and slightly firm still. Okay. Popping that in. Okay, and again. All right. And Done. that's all of our preparation. So within so five minutes, we've made our dough. We've made our crumble. We've made our beautiful rhubarb here. Yes. Finely sliced. It's got some sugar on there, so no bleeding whatsoever. Nope. And the apples. Yes, so all we have to do now is roll out the pastry and put it all together. Beautiful. All right, I should go get it out of the fridge then. Perfect. Okay, the pastry, it's firmed up nicely, hasn't it? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so do you mind unwrapping that? All right, so we'll roll it between two sheets of baking paper. This way we don't have to have any more flour go into the pastry and we won't dry it out or anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. I do this now too. I don't ever use flour anymore. No. Two pieces of paper works yep. wonders, especially if you want to put it into a tin afterwards. Mm -hmm. Just lift it and in it goes. Life is so much easier with baking paper. And it just <laughs> keeps, when it is such a short pastry, it does keep it yeah. um, really nice and buttery too. And that pastry, it looks so good. You, know, you just can tell straight away yep. after it's come out of the food process of what it looks like and it looks just perfect. Okay, so we're rolling this out. Now, mm -hmm. what you can do is sometimes it starts to crunch up, so yep. you can just flip it over. Mm -hmm. Now, we want to have about a... Probably about a 30 centimetre piece because of pastry. it will fold on each other, won't it? This so is how easy it is. You don't need to worry if you're not too comfortable with using a, a tart, like a, yep. a proper tart. We can just do this by hand. Okay, yep. that should be good. All right. And this is what should be the hard part, is the easiest part. Okay, so we've got our crumble. Mm -hmm. So we're just pouring just half into the middle. Okay, into the centre. Spreading that out. Yep. Leaving obviously a border. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. And what the crumble on the bottom will do is as the juices are coming out of the rhubarb and the apple, it'll soak up within that so we won't get our pastry too soggy either. Makes sense. Okay. Popping the apples on the top. Okay. Then our rhubarb. Gosh, this is so easy, Naomi. It's beautiful too. It look, just looks great. Can't imagine what it's going to look like when it's going to come out of the oven. There you be wait. Bright. So it'll be you know, that beautiful colour okay. that we all love in rhubarb. Now this will flatten mm -hmm. as it's cooking, so we'll have a nice flatter looking crumble when it's done. Okay, pop that on top. So just finish it off. Just on the top. Okay, so then the last thing to do, well second last, thank you, you've reminded me. Mm -hmm. Now what we do is we just bring this up. Because you can fiddle with this afterwards. Mm -hmm. So we're just bringing the edges up and around. There we go. That goes in like that. And you can just shape it up. Now, that egg white that we saved, mm -hmm. we'll just use that, brush a little bit. And then as I brush, we'll just sprinkle the sugar. So we've just got granulated sugar there. Just some brown sugar, yep. I mean, if you don't have any brown sugar... We've got demerara here. Yep. Just mm -hmm. pour some white uh, over sugar over the Anything top. Anything you've got at home will yeah. work. <laughs> Just give it a little yeah. bit of texture. But I think okay. with this one, yeah, like you said, texture, a bit of crunch from, yes. from that um, the sugar. So that goes onto the pastry, Oops. does it? Or just... Just uh, around the edges, just, onto the pastry? Just onto the pastry like so. Okay. Now, depending on your oven, if you've got quite a hot oven, um, I normally say about 200 degrees uh, with no fan or about 180 degrees with a fan. Mm -hmm. And it can take anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. So just keep an eye on it yep. because you're just waiting for the pastry to get beautiful and golden. Yep. And like I said, this will collapse a bit while it's cooking. Beautiful. So that's it. Okay.
How good does it look, Justine? It looks so good and it smells wonderful. It smells like all those beautiful smells we love it at winter does. time. Apple crumble, tart, it's just delicious. Okay, so just sliding it off. Mm -hmm. Okay, sugar and then sugar. we can just dust it with a little bit of icing sugar. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, very okay. good. Okay, serve it with cream or uh, if it's in a really, really cold weather, maybe some custard or even ice cream for mm. that summer peach tart that we were talking about. Love it. Now, do you want a piece? <gasps> yes. Okay. I we'll thought you weren't ever going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. How big? Big? Yeah, I mean, not too small. <laughs> it's just come straight out of the oven too, so I can, you know, it's still quite warm, mm. which is the best time to eat it. There we go. Okay. Got to have a little bit of cream, don't I? Absolutely. <laughs> and... How is it? Mm. That. That is so good. Free-form tart, very easy to do. That pastry is so good. And your apples, they're still crunchy. Yes, and that's the way I like it. But again, slice them thinner if you like them cooked a little bit softer. Exactly. Look, I think that first mouthful was a little bit too small. Nice. It's too good. I have to have... Actually, I have to have the whole piece. It's Sounds too... good. <laughs> <gasps> mm.